You disappointed me, Elvis. You betrayed us all, boy. Ah! Oh, man. Man, take a look there. Oh. Well, you want to fly, boy? Huh? Well, why don't you want to betray us, huh? Hey, man! I'm not so sure we're interested in plea bargaining. Hey, what's the matter? Your case feeling a little shaky five minutes before trial? Hey, what I want to talk is grim reality. We're looking at a trial that could take three months of my time and cost a fortune in the taxpayer's money. This is outrageous. I mean, I'm going to file counter charges. Not only is this a bogus arrest, but look at this. Look at this. Our position is that those wounds are self-inflicted. Self-inflicted? He took a pair of pliers and hung himself up by the nose? You think I'm stupid enough to blow this case? All right. We'll accept the year. Suspended. And a small fine. Try three years without parole and 100,000 in fines. Later, Jeffrey, why don't you go out to the courtyard and pull yourself together? Now, you listen to me. I've got your client in a vice, and I'm going to squeeze him. He's going to do time for these charges, and you know it. We've got over 20 pounds of cocaine in the evidence room, and you've got a judge who's firing his clerks. Now, I'm just trying to save us all some trouble. But I gotta make this deal fly both ways. These cops here are furious with me for even talking a deal. They want to see this sleazeball on trial. So this is the closeout big sale. Tell your boy to take his medicine. But if you insult my good nature by trying to take me in there and beating me on my own turf, I will humiliate you. And I'm gonna hang you, Mr. Grimes, out to dry. Look, um, could we uh, talk private like? You guys wait outside. Baseball or something. So happens I have two tickets to the show. <laughs> 